Hey guys, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're taking a look at the Ferruccio. This is an Italian cruiser at tier seven. This is also part of the salvage event. So this one is gonna be very early on in that event, but a new tier seven cruiser we have here. We actually have pretty much the same guns that the Michelangelo has for secondary turrets. We just have them as main guns now. So the 152s here with SAP and HE, now that they're main turrets, we do have the option here. And as we can see here, I did actually go ahead and get the Kitakami. I spent a lot of resources on it, but as a CC, I do get a bunch of premium time for free. So I ended up using a bunch of that. And then coal as well as research points. Coal simply because also as a CC, I get the coal ships for free. So I don't have as much use of coal because typically Typically, those coal ships are going to be also available for doubloons. And as a CC, you kind of just get things that anything that's available for cash, essentially, they just give you. So keep that in mind. I do have a very different account and experience than you guys will. I know this event is extremely expensive, but the Ferruccio here is not too far along. So you might be looking to see if this is worth getting to. Defense, of course, very fun, very strong tier 10 ship. And it's also very expensive, much more so than a lot of tier 10 premiums even would we. So, Ruzio might not be a driving force here, but hey, you might actually pick this thing up if you're going for the defense, or certainly for the Kitakami. And as far as I know, the defense, Kitakami, these ships won't be available for over a year. Uh, Kitakami might be even two years away from being available for another resource or another event, that kind of thing. So. The FOMO is real with this event and it's very, very expensive. I was very happy to see Laria come back so quickly after its event, kind of with some FOMO there as well. But uh, Kitakami kind of pushing things back again. But at least with Laria, that one came back relatively quickly. Perhaps when it's not such a divisive or very focused ship like Kitakami, uh, been in the game for a long time, but of course been out of the matches and in testing forever, eight years or something like that. So maybe when we get a more normal ship, these early access events will be a little shorter. That's my hope at least. Well, what's going to be so good about the Ferruccio here? Well, you do have the sap guns, which are very, very nice to have. But more importantly, your concealment is going to be the best at this tier. Uh, tier 7 cruisers, this thing is extremely stealthy. You're also very, very fast, and you have a lot of range. So 17 and a half kilometers of gun range is really, really good at this tier. We'll see how the shell velocity performs. That could be a bit of an issue with this ship as well. Um, but we do get those nice exhaust smokes like the Italian line gets. So very handy to have for if you push a little too aggressive or you get yourself into a bad situation, you can pop these and get a nice turnout safely. Here though, keep in mind, it is only 24 seconds and that is with this particular build here on the commander. I am actually not running the upgrade because we actually have a spotter plane as well. So might need to use that in some of those really passive higher tier games, we'll see. But I just generally really like Eye in the Sky. Anytime I can afford to take it, I probably want to. Considering our concealment's so good, I am actually using heavy HE and SAP shells here. So even with that, we have a 9.9 .9 kilometer detect with that 15% penalty to our concealment. So very, very good uh, concealment here. So we're gonna try and make use of that today. Pretty standard upgrades. Again, just spotter plane here. Why not? Figure I may as well maximize that thing as much as I can. Because it is very useful for a lot of these cruisers that have almost no armor. That's the uh, little spoilers. I was checking this earlier. <laughs> uh, I guess you know what the Citadel looks like already. But yeah, you're, you're getting overmatched very, very easily everywhere. So this ship is going to take a ton of damage. And we have a 52 mil belt here. And then, of course, that Citadel is gigantic and not very well armored. So this thing probably will explode if it gets hit. So we're going to have to use our speed and our concealment and the smoke screen to try and stay undetected. Uh, we'll see how this goes as a tier 7 cruiser. This might be okay, especially considering the range. We have things like uh, Shores or Lazo, these things that are pretty good, even though they do explode. Uh, Lazo gets a nice spotter plane as well, allowing it to farm from farther ranges and do a little, have a little bit easier time against some of these higher tier ships. We'll see. 
So for starters, something I noticed is actually our rear turret is 360 degrees. Uh, the front one doesn't appear to be, although we'll see if we do end up getting ourselves into a kiting position. And the range is not too bad here. We'll see how our shell velocity holds up, but we do find ourselves against some tier 9s. Not too many, but a couple. Looks like 10 seconds or so to 16 kilometers. That's okay. Yeah, the shell velocity's all right, uh, I would say. It might be a little harder to hit some cruisers or especially DDs at these ranges. I'm actually overleading slightly. But considering we have sap, I think that's probably okay. Sap, of course, a very, very strong ammo type here. And we will try and make use of that. Yeah, that is 8,000 damage into a Bismarck from 152 millimeter guns, guys. <laughs> Very, very powerful. Uh, I didn't mention the torpedoes, but uh, you do get four torps per side uh, by the looks of things here. So decent torpedoes. Uh, pretty standard for Italians though. You get uh, the damage is just okay, I would say. And, oh, we're spotted. Interesting. And they have good range though. They're just slow is the kind of the thing here. I'm gonna reach over to this and see. No, I can't, actually. Our rear turret angle is not amazing, actually. Look at how far we have to go broadside to just shoot it here. So what we can do, though, is we can go like this. We can have a spotter plane, and we can still shoot the Bismarck. It's our range, actually, with that up. That's kind of wild. 21 kilometers is a tier. Tier 7, 21 kilometers. It's <laughs> hilarious. Okay, another couple of good hits in. BG's kind of going broadside, just kind of hanging out. That's fine. We will be wary of potentially helping our Lo Yang here. Oh, the 2000. You know, if, if the Lo Yang does spot something, we will try and help him out, of course. But for now, we're just farming from behind an island. Pretty standard cruiser play, especially at this tier, where we're not going to have things like a heal. Heals, of course, are just so helpful for playing more aggressive. Let's see, NC here, and our angle's not great for him. Maybe, uh, oh, he turned, so that should do some decent damage. Oh, only 2,000. I think we must have hit his superstructure. Sap, of course, does deal less damage when sa it's saturated. Oh, that plane is bad for me. When areas of the ship are saturated. There we go, that's a little better damage. I'm going to be reversing, <laughs> and I hope they don't get a shot on me. Oh, actually, they're pushing it. May as well uh, may as well keep shooting at them. But this this sort of play style, of course, is pretty traditional for, for cruisers, especially at this tier. So playing patient, that kind of thing, is really important, I think. The velocity seems good, and yet we're still able to get over this island. That's kind of crazy. Ooh, our team is kind of dying. Not great. Not great. Oh, our torp angles are bad too if the Charn does push through here. Unfortunate. Five hits though. Bit of damage. Wow, we're gonna get zeroed out. Dial up more dev strikes. <laughs> okay, guys. Um. Okay. I guess um, we're gonna try and do something here. Against this NC. Try and torp him, maybe? No, our Lo Yang is uh, gonna get there. That one is not great for us, though, let's be honest. Oh, our Lo Yang's uh, staying behind that one, that's fine. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's HE time. We can swap over. I, honestly, I do think this thing will be a pretty decent tier 7 cruiser. This is just uh, turned into a blowout, unfortunately. That happens. Ooh, shatters? What's our pen? Oh, our pen's, yeah, 25. Makes sense. Okay, he shoots. Now we can fire ourselves. Got a little time before NC loads again. Get a fire, though. The fire chance isn't great, though, 8%. So, that's a fortunate fire, certainly. And... Shot me. 
Balti, I guess? Should really think about smoking up, but I think our... Wow, that is some good dispersion, but he missed. It's very fortunate for us. Yeah, they're triple capping us too. <laughs> Uh, not ideal, not ideal. But we're bottom tier, so you're not gonna have the most battle impact. Uh, let's, let's smoke. I actually didn't check our smoke fire, hold on. 4.4! Wow, that's really good. That's actually insane. 4.4, guys. Yeah, very, very tricky game. Been 55 already. It's pretty decent. Oh wow, smoke's out already. <laughs> yeah, it dies pretty quick. This smoke, especially compared to some of the higher tier ones, where you know, with the right mods and upgrades, you can push those up to a minute or so. Far preload's not bad though. 2,000 again. Yeah, his super structure's just saturated. It seems like. Get this cat. 360 turret here helping us out. Try and deal with this Fiji. The sap should do well here. You've got the NC, that's good. Maybe if they like way over commit, don't although we just don't have enough allies. people. Do we? Concentrate fire on the designated turret. Oh, we just don't have enough people anymore. Okay, Fiji's coming out. No AP here, notably. So we actually aren't able to Citadel this guy. Just because we have Sap instead. 3,000 damage. Hmm. Come on. Give me that Sap damage. 3,000. Okay. A little less than that initial salvo into that Bismarck, huh? Is he slowing down? Or... Five hits for another 3,000. Okay. Maybe we'll get him. And now what? Do we eat all the torps coming out of here? Hopefully not. Ugh. Sketchy, man. 77, though, against some tier 9s in the match. Mostly tier 8s, though, which we were fighting. Can't really say it was tier 10. Tier 9s. 38 seconds for our smoke. Ulti's down, though. I mean, we gotta go, right? We gotta test against this Kitakaze, right? We just have to. Yeah, turn like that. And... Yeah! That was a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, can we yoink this smoke? Or is it ending? I think it's ending. 13 seconds. And this could hurt. Okay, he didn't lead us enough. Nice. We use their smoke to turn around. Continue with the sap. 3,000 damage. Um, I'm scared. I'm just going to smoke. <laughs> I'm scared. That's in Alaska. That could hurt. 3,400... I don't know if my torps are on the right line or not. I guess we'll see. Still gonna keep shooting the Sharn here for now. Oh, they're looking good. Maybe we'll swap to the Alaska then. Yep, torps are good. I don't think this is a we're bringing it back situation. I think this is a exit frag situation. It's not bad. Now we die to an Alaska, I think, is how it goes. Or the Musashi just overmatches us. Alaska probably also overmatches us. Oh, he's got HE right now. We're very maneuverable, though. This, um... Well, until our rudder gets broken. <laughs> okay, there's the Musashi shot. And now the Alaska... Probably, oh, that is not the dispersion we're looking for. Okay, Alaska didn't shoot us. Nice. Come on. 
Yeah, this turret angle up the back is really bad. No, dispersion. It should have normal dispersion, though. Alaska didn't shoot me again. Okay. I mean, it's a new ship, so maybe they just don't know what they can do to me. Get it. All right. Here it comes. Yep. There it is. <laughs> yep. There it is. <laughs> Really? Still didn't kill this guy? Wow. Come on. Bounce? Oh, pen and I didn't get it. Damn, man. All right. 125 is okay. Considering the team, 125? But yeah, it, it's gonna explode, which I'm a fan of, to be honest with you. Let's just see if our torps hit. Uh, I want... I want cruisers to explode when they make mistakes and go broadside. Look at that, we even hit a torp. Nice. Uh, not on the Musashi because he turned in. Personally though, this also has to come with less overmatch. So, more damage when I'm broadside and I'm making a mistake, less damage when I'm angled. That's my preference. Yep. Wasn't looking good there. Certainly did not end well for our team. But 137 is a pretty good game, I think for this ship. It's the first one I've played, so I don't know, but I think we did pretty well. Ah, okay. <laughs> Understandable. Understandable. Um, yeah. Moving on. Ah, ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, matchmaker says we're gonna have a tough time this match. Although, not spotted out here. That's pretty good. But yeah, more tier 9s. Could be rough. Ah, uh, yeah, the bounce and the shatter there, not great. Let's go to HE then, just for a bit. At least the Rupric's on the other side. Um, but we're gonna try and light some fires. Our HE DPM is not good. The bread and butter really is, of course, the sap. But a fire early helps a lot. Yikes, that dispersion is sometimes so wonky. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. You have an Azashio out here. Pretty strong. Give me Alaska, though. Hmm. Wow, look at how low that went. Interesting. Okay, we'll aim really high, then. Again, just using islands as much as we can. Oh, enemy div coming here? Yikes. Yeah, we didn't really have much spawn here for our team, so I think it means time to run already. Pretty bad for us. Dev strike first blood. Um, yeah, not not what we're looking for, just to be totally honest with you. Let's go to some sap and try and get some torps out. All stations and kind of play the flank. This is going to be a hard game. Corpse out. Yeah, the front gun is not 360. That is kind of disappointing. That's kind of disappointing. I think that's fair to say. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Another Furucho. This is going to be interesting. Uh, he's got a little more backup than I do. I might just not. <laughs> uh, let's not shoot. Since there's a Palmer, a Massachusetts, a Vlad, an Alaska over here, <laughs> let's just not. Oh, is my team dead already? All right, guys. Well, alrighty then. World of Warships, I suppose. We uh, we do struggle against tier nines and tens, or tier nines and tier eights, I guess. Wow. Dev strike, first blood. Dev strike, dev strike. Wow. Game is game is unkind today to me, apparently. But that's okay. You get the first impressions, whatever they are. And we are lit. That's not good. Game stuff. 
Game is tough, guys. But you probably know that. <laughs> we all have uh, rough times in this game, don't we? But I think it's a pretty decent cruiser overall. Here I am starting into our conclusions based on <laughs> nothing of these two games, but uh, it seems okay. You're just going to find that the lack of armor means you really got to play careful like we are here. And the guns are just decent. Uh, sap is just super strong. Oh, he's really fishing for me. Okay. That's fine. Smart to use those things. ASWs to try and find where people are based on their AA. That's why I turned it off. Didn't get it in time, though. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Is there, like, a better time? Yeah, okay. They're all just here ready for me. Yikes. Yikes, man. What do, you, what do I do here? <laughs> I'm just dead? <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just dead. Wow, okay. Shells fly that high. I guess I'm just dead. That's uh, that's rather frustrating. I'm not... Is that enough? Uh, okay. Apparently another dev strike in order. And a bit of sap damage. Okay. Oh, there's a Benson. That's who's chasing me. All right, we should go dark soon, though. Hmm. Normally, um, the game shouldn't function like this. I, I'll say that, I, I suppose. But uh, today's today's weird. This patch has been kind of weird too. Oh, we're on the border. Well, that's not good. And okay. The enemy is about to win. Little overmatch there. We didn't uh, end up eating it, fortunately. So I think even angled, I probably should be eating a bunch of damage, but I got lucky there just to not eat a bunch of overmatch. Seems like. Hmm. Smoke's not available right now. Using the border is kind of cheesy. Shouldn't really be doing that. But I don't have much choice in this one, unfortunately. Unless we just give up, I guess. Pass again. I think I out accelerate that one. Do I out accelerate this one? I might. Uh, not quite. Wow, getting very lucky here. Alaska, 13, hey? <laughs> How is that guy that killed me? Wild. Oh, he's on HE, that's probably why. Uh, is this one gonna catch me? Let's see. Yeah, there it was. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, not much he can do. I mean, we have almost 2 million potential damage. <laughs> um, 2 million potential damage against that uh, is pretty good. It's tough. It's tough out here, man. Yeah, I, I mean... I'm... I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> uh, I'm at a loss for words, guys. Typically, typically that 
this sort of feeling has to be built up over a few hours, like, well, not even a few hours, over an hour of like me streaming. Uh, for those of you that don't catch the streams, I usually start going quiet and I get frustrated with the game and then I eventually stop after maybe two hours or so because the game is just so frustrating. Took two matches today. <laughs> I usually try and record these before streaming because then I have energy, I'm happy, I'm excited to play. Uh, wow. Um, I guess I guess I'll try and not leave this one on a on a downer. Um, try and be positive a little bit. The the sap does decent damage. Our first game was pretty good. Um, it seems like the battle impact's pretty low, but I mean you you're fighting. I'm fighting tier nines, tier tier eights, tier nines all day. That's pretty terrible. Um, th this game was pretty good though. Like it shows that it can do damage. The smoke is useful, but it does explode. It really does explode. Um, yeah, so it seems like it's just kind of a, a, a throw-in with the Kitakami event. I think the real benef the real ships to go after certainly are the defense and the Kitakami. Defense because it's good, Kitakami because it's a Kitakami. It's, uh, it's a ship that's been taken out for years, and now it's finally back. Um, it's kind of just a throw-in, I suppose. So there you go. That's the most positive I can get for you right now. Uh, I do apologize. I'll try and come back tomorrow <laughs> with a little more energy and uh, hopefully we'll have a better time. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.